If you want a really good burger without having to either fire up the grill or potentially run the risk of getting popped by some hot grease, the air fryer is gonna be your very best friend. Everything about these air fryer burgers is completely next level and they're so easy and so fast to make. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do air fryer burgers both ways, whether you want turkey burgers or just a good old fashioned ground beef burger. We're gonna kick it off with the beef. You're gonna start with one pound of lean ground beef Add that to a large mixing bowl, and then you'll add one teaspoon of liquid smoke. The liquid smoke is gonna give us a little bit of that hot off the grill flavor, but it's not going to be overwhelming or pungent by any means. It's gonna be barely there, but it takes the flavor up quite a few notches. Okay, so the liquid smoke is in, and now you're gonna add three quarter teaspoon of kosher salt plus a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Get in there with your hands, mix that up until you see that those spices are evenly distributed throughout all of the meat mix. And then you're gonna divide that mix into four and form them into patties. Be sure that you press a little divot into the center of your patty. This way your burger won't shrink up like a fat little hockey puck. It'll actually stay in burger form and fit that bun just right. Now you're gonna get your air fryer preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Just let that run for about 10 minutes so that you can make sure that it's good and hot before your burgers go in. While your air fryer is preheating, let's take advantage of this time and get some of that burger topping prep done. I'm gonna start with the pickles and the onions. I love chopped pickle and chopped onion on a burger. When we chop these ingredients up nice and fine, you get a little bit in every bite, but you don't end up with a pungently strong bite of thick cut onion or anything that takes away from the flavor of the actual meat itself. So I'm gonna chop up my pickles, I'm gonna chop up my onion, then we're gonna slice into some tomato, just slice that nice and thin. And we also wanna have ready some crisp, cool shredded lettuce. Have your American cheese slices on standby. And by now, it should be time to put those burgers in the air fryer. Make sure that you put those patties in in a single layer so that they're not stacking on top of each other and heat can circulate both on top and on the bottom of the burgers for nice, even cooking. We're gonna cook those burgers for eight to 11 minutes just until that patty registers 160 degrees Fahrenheit. As soon as they come out of the air fryer, if you're wanting cheese on your burger, add it while they're hot so that it can get nice and melty and just right for assembly. Hey y'all, just need to let you know that we have some really stellar air fryer recipes on this channel. Whether you're looking for air fried pickles, air fried shrimp, air fried chicken nuggets, we've got all kinds of delicious air fryer recipes here. Be sure you check out that playlist at the end of this video. So that's the beef patty. If you wanna do a turkey burger, you're gonna add the exact same seasoning, exact same quantities. The only thing that's gonna change for the turkey patty is you're gonna cook it for a full 11 minutes and you need that internal temperature to register 165 degrees Fahrenheit before you dig in. Okay, but we're not stopping there. We gotta get those buns good and toasty. I told you, everything about this burger is next level. So you're gonna lay your buns down on a sheet pan or a work surface and you wanna have them cut side up. You're just gonna spritz that really lightly with some either avocado oil or olive oil and then you're gonna give them a really light sprinkle of kosher salt. You're gonna take that air fryer temperature down to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and you're gonna place your buns in the air fryer cut side up. Cook those for two minutes and make sure you're paying attention. If you leave them in there two minutes too long, they're gonna end up black and burnt. So now your buns are toasty and it is officially assembly time. For us, we're gonna lay down a good schmear of mayonnaise. Then we'll add some shredded lettuce, those thinly sliced tomatoes, add your burger patty, and then finish it off with the chopped pickles and the chopped onion. Crown your burger with the top bun and dig in. If you want more easy, quick dinner sandwiches to add to your dinner time lineup, check out our loaded chicken sandwich next. Sauteed chicken, melty cheese, sauteed onions, all the good stuff. 